Welcome back to Hope Lab Networks, my name is AJ, and this video is my 2023 What I Run In My Home Lab video. This is this video I made as one of my first videos on my YouTube channel, and it did extremely well for a small channel with no subscribers, so I thought, I thought I'd do an updated version, as I've got a lot more applications on my network running at home, and I just wanted to show you guys what we use. So this first one is Heimdall, as I had in my first video, but now we've got a lot more bookmarks added here, as what we'll go through now. So in my Portainer, I've got a proxy manager for my WordPress. Now this new one, Pingvin, is a file sharing service, which we'll go through, and then just my WordPress database. So this is my Dell R410 server, which runs a Plex media server, Windows 11, PFSense, which I don't use, it was just for video purposes, PyAlert, which is um, PyHole's brother pretty much, our business trial website, a file browser in Docker, Home Assistant, free PSD, and another Portana Docker website which I'm trying to use my own address that I purchased to link it up with Docker, which isn't working at the moment, which I'm just trying to work around, which I, which I will in time, but I'm not in a rush to do that. And then I'll just go through a few other virtual machines. And I've got Uptime Kumi here. And then my backup server for my virtual machines which backs up every night. So, back to the new services. I've got Pi-hole running, which just tells you every single device on your network and gives you all the information and IP addresses. Um, by default, they will come unknown, which is a bit of a pain. But I've made a video on this. If you just click unknown, you can just Google this Mac address and it will tell you what device it is and you can just save it from there. Um, but I, I like this, it's pretty cool and it just lets you know what's on your network, who's on it, and any new devices, what's connected and you can set up down alerts. Then the next new service I have up and running is Home Assist which is a still recently new, I just did it I did it and made a video on it, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I was happy it did. And then, it's just cool, it just shows you, um, yeah, obviously all your devices on your network, and you can add devices, you've got smart devices, you can control everything from here, once you can figure it out and play around with it. And then my next service I have running is a Plex server. Which I was so happy when I did this and I got it working because it wasn't working at first. But then I watched Craft Computing um, by Jeff, followed his advice, and it worked. So this is, I don't use this often, which I, I need to, but it's, it's just cool to have. And then one of the newest ones is Pingvin, which is a file sharing service. And it reminds me of Synology, their Quick Connect or their, their file sharing applications and how you, they give you a download link you send and you give that link to someone to download. And this is very basic but it just works and it's just awesome to have in your home lab. And now over here I do have a second portainer which is for our um, official website once we launch and if I can get my IP address working with my docker container and in WordPress that's gonna be up and running but that's um pretty much all the newer services we have running I just wanted to make a updated video video on 
what we run and HLA services I've made videos on so if you want to set these up for yourself I can link anything in the description actually I'll link all these set setups in the de description on a playlist and you can just follow from there but um thank you for the all the new subscribers and views thanks for all, this, all the support and we're gonna keep making videos as you guys um, like them and it makes us happy that we can help other people get into IT and home labs so my name's AJ and we'll see you in the next video